So what we're doing today is more along the lines of illustration than it is like fine art or realism. Because you're going from your imagination and you pretty much can never get a photographic look just from your imagination. And this is where it gets exciting. And this is why I was just talking to you, Leanne, about Arthur Rackham and all that, because mm. these guys drew from life. So you can pick up a lot of reference from life and just like a set design you put all these together on a stage in your mind and you create a story. So with that in mind there's a couple of things you need. You need a fairly good understanding on how the human body works. Um, if you've got reference sketches, great. I uh, don't think I'd use any of those reference sketches but it was really, actually, no, I might. Mm. Um, but it's really cool doing that life drawing because that gives you uh, an understanding on how the figure works and hopefully the anatomy that we talked about is going to help as well. First thing you're going to do, because you've got like an hour and a half on this at least, is that you're going to think, okay, what am I going to draw? So you're going to start with thumbnail sketches. Um, you know, just launch in. Be like dark on that. So, so that's my page. Actually, I quite like the way she's looking there. So I might do something similar to that. In fact, I can put a gun in her hand. Why not? Because she was pretending to be Lara Croft at the time. <laughs> but I need to pop in the body, so I'm going to start making stuff up. Okay, so now I might not like that sketch. I might go and do like one or two, three, four, you know, six, ten thumbnails quickly. I mean, how long would that take me to do? A few seconds. So I might do that and come up with one that I like the best out of them and then go with that for the next hour or so. So it's important to get that in place at first. So just looking at composition. We've got a diagonal line there, which is cool. We've got a rule of thirds happening. So let's go with that. Will this be darker than it is? I might go grab a piece of charcoal. Charcoal should be darker. Just so you guys can all see what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm taking that composition. Like it's a third down here. There's a Diagonal line, diagonal lines cause drama in a composition. We have got a head here, and you see what I'm doing is pretty much like I'm drawing her, even though she's not there. Now, somehow, I might do it like this. That's where her legs go. So, I'm going to do a bit of correction there. rough in a stick figure. So she, in this drawing, is going to have her body twisted a bit. So you see in the back, or probably more of the side of her. So you can all see how I got to that point there, just out of my imagination. Roughly on that, but mostly just out of my imagination. Now I've got to sort of think in terms of anatomy. So her rib cage is here, it's sort of side on, so her shoulder blades going to be here. This is where her deltoid is and her arm muscles come into it. Here we've got a trapezius here. First is there. And it was great what she was wearing the other day when she was so dressed as Lara Croft because it was all sort of like, you know, tight and caused lots of lines around there. One of the things I liked is that it had a hole in the mm. back of it. I'm going to stick that hole here. It's a nice texture. 
because I thought that was pretty cool. <coughs> I may have to, this is more of a profile, I'm going to imagine there's hips in here, there's a knee bone there, so even though she's wearing clothes I'm still popping in the anatomy, there's calf muscle there, there's a heel there. But what I might do with this hand here is make it go more like that. Put a bit more of, I don't know, I just like that to see the wrist action. So because I, because I don't have a model in front of me and I don't have a photograph in front of me, I'm free. It gives you a sense of freedom when you're just going straight from your head. But I know that I can't do that. There. <coughs> don't know why she's got a hand like that, but she just might just have a hand like that for some reason. I'm trying to think that's yep. Now of course you do all this very lightly in pencil. It's all you're scribbling slightly in pencil. Then you sort of go over it a bit firmer. And you make this look more like clothing, knowing that the wrinkles sort of come out of these anchor points here. Sometimes they go here. The jeans are a little bit thicker, so the fabric or cargo pants are in the pocket there bit thicker so you don't quite get the same uh, thing as you do with the shirt here. Well the other thing is she was dressed as Lara Croft I think who probably should have gun holsters here. So I'm going to stick those in and then I'm going to use that bit around there to describe the leg. Again contour drawing because we're telling the story here. I might even make the fabric indent a bit where that is. So here I am, happily drawing away from my memory. And so on and so on. So now I don't have reference for a gun or holsters. So what do I do? I just make it up. Do a bit of a head in here. Because I make it up, we get a style forming. So you see what I mean? It's nothing like a photograph, it's nothing like real life, it's suddenly become fantasy, it's out of the mind. It's a great way to work. So that's your project for the day. Let's come up with an idea uh, based on Gemma, the model who's not here today. Come up with a few rough sketches, uh, little thumbnail sketches draw from your mind. I'll move around and I'll probably sort of say that delta is in the wrong spot or that. So pencil it in lightly first. When you get to that stage if you have trouble to sort of say I'm not sure what's happening here I'll come and give you a hand okay. Yeah.